here presenting Alabama, the proclamation from the President of the United States. We'll come back with that in a little bit. The journey that ended up with the award of the Presidential Medal, Congressional Gold Medal, and her own statue soon to be unveiled in the United States Capitol for eternity. And as she made that incredible journey, we need to also remember that over half of her life, she was a Detroiter. And I am very pleased today to have been asked by President Barack Obama to read a proclamation that he has sent to start this incredible program. And I will read this proclamation. On December 1, 1955, our nation was forever transformed when an African-American seamstress in Montgomery, Alabama refused to give up her seat on a city bus to a white passenger. Just wanting to get home after a long day at work, Rosa Parks may not have been planning to make history, but her defiance spurred a movement that advanced our journey towards justice and equality for all. Though Rosa Parks was not the first to confront the injustice of segregation laws, her courageous act of civil disobedience sparked the Montgomery bus boycott. 381 days of peaceful protest when ordinary men, women, and children sent the extraordinary message that second-class citizenship was unacceptable. Rather than ride in the back of buses, families and friends walked. Neighborhoods and churches formed carpools. Their actions stirred the conscience of Americans of every background, and their resilience in the face of fierce violence and intimidation ultimately led to the desegregation of public transportation systems across our country. Rosa Parks' story did not end with a boycott she inspired. A lifelong champion of civil rights, she continued to give voice to the poor and the marginalized among us until her passing on October 24, 2005. As we mark the 100th anniversary of Rosa Parks' birth, we celebrate the life of a genuine American hero and remind ourselves that although the principle of equality has always been self-evident, it has never been self-executing. It has taken acts of courage from generations of fearless and hopeful Americans to make our country more just. As heirs to the progress won by those who came before us, let us pledge not to only honor her legacy, but also to take up their cause of perfecting our union. Now, therefore, I, Barack Obama, President of the United States of America, by virtue of authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim February 4, 2013, as the 100th anniversary of the birth of Rosa Parks, and I call upon all Americans to observe this day with appropriate service, community, and education programs to honor Rosa Parks enduring legacy, signed President Barack Obama.